The theme of the Syria Film Festival is a reminder that Damascus is the city of Jasmine, and that even four years of conflict doesn't quell the desire to tell stories through art. Many who will attend will have only experienced Syria on the news. I think they will see the human story of the Syrian refugee crisis and the real people that are behind this. I mean, one of our slogans is, hear the stories behind the numbers. Well, you can also come and see and hear the stories behind the reports. And what stories they are. In Queens of Syria, 50 women in exile in Jordan spend six weeks learning to act and stage the ancient Greek tragedy, the Trojan women. Tragic, yes, but a little funny in places, too. I've been away from Syria for a long time. 50 Feet from Syria is about a successful Syrian-American surgeon who leaves comfort and safety at home to work in a hospital on the Turkish border, doing what he can for the victims of war. Appearing at the festival in person, one of Syria's most well-known actors, Jihad Abdo, who now lives in America and calls himself Jay Abdo. In exile in Hollywood, he dreams of a devastated homeland. It's a trauma, it's a non-stop trauma. And at the same time, you have to think of your career. You've left everything there. Everything you built like for 25 years now is lost. And now you have to start from scratch where no one knows about you. Syrian exiles in Toronto dreamt up this idea of celebrating cinema from a war zone. There are people who hope one day to stage a very different kind of celebration. My dream is to have a festival that focuses more on how we're rebuilding Syria. I wanted to talk about uh, normal problems like uh, transit, uh, political problems, uh, relationship problems, uh, anything other than war. It's a good the title of the weekend's final film underlines that message, not who we are. It too looks at exile, but amid undying hope for return. For today, though, the main challenge for organizers, telling this city's avid film buffs that all tickets are sold out. They'll just have to wait until next year. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Toronto.